Boom, what's up beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. And you see the truck behind me, which is different than the ones we have back in the States. In the States, Toyota has the Tundra and the Tacoma. However, here in South Africa, we will be looking at the heat lux, looking at the exterior, the interior, as well as how does it drive. Let's get to it, y'all. And doing this review with me is none other than my friend, Tato. Tato, you ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Huh? You know what time it is. That's what he says. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's go. My brother, Tato, Let's walk through today's car now. Mm -hmm. I said what it was. Now talk to us about what it is. All right, so this is our Legend RS Hilux 2.8. Ah. This particular spec is a 4x4. Yep. And this one is spec in manual. However, you do have an automatic option on this vehicle. Nice. Um, so yeah, let me take you through the exterior and then we'll walk around the car and then I'll tell you all about it. I like it now. Before we get to it now, what we call these back in the States are trucks. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. for those watching in South Africa, what do y'all call nah, this, this vehicle? this is a bucky. Oh, call them buckies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like buckies it now. Buckies or pickups, but we usually call them buckies. How did it get its name, Bucky? I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I just grew up knowing that these are buckies. It's a buggy. Yeah, like it's something that they've always called. I think it does probably originate from Africans. Ah. Because they, you know, were the people using the buckies initially. Copy and that. I think it's probably an Africans term and now we all just use it. I dig yeah, it. But uh, I'd rather find out and give you more factual information, but I'm not too sure exactly where it comes from. Hey, maybe it'll be on your podcast. We'll see. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll see. Discuss it. We'll yeah. see. All right, Tato. So where do we begin with this here Bucky? I'm going to call it what you call it. <laughs> I guess let's start in the front. Okay. So in the front here, instead of having chrome like we have on our Raider, which is the other option that you can get this car in, you've got the black padding over here. I like Just to it. give it a more stealthier look. I like we've it. We've also got full LEDs as standard on the 2.8. Yes. Um, we've got LED fog lamps as well. True. And then the car comes standard with front PDC, so that's what you see over here. Ah. So if we come over on the side here, We've also got this cladding that moves onto the side of the vehicle as yes, well. Yes, sir. This is just so when you do go off-roading, um, the car's body is actually protected from any damage. Okay. Um, being an RS and being a legend, it comes standard with 18-inch black alloy wheels. Nice. You've got the 2.8 GDC badging here. I like that. You got to let the people know what you're driving Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to no, let definitely, them know. Definitely. <laughs> and then on the door here, as you can see, there's a button here. This is for your keyless entry. Okay. So to unlock and lock the car, you can do it here from the door okay you've also got the side step here to help you get in and out of the car if you're yes, obviously sir. a short person yep and then going back to the name of the car this is a hilux legend rs uh-huh rs literally means roller shutter ah. so when you buy this spec um being the top of the range rs edition yeah you get this as standard which is your roll bar here okay it's only fitted to the rs so this particular design style um roller shutter essentially yeah with this roll bar okay comes standard only on this particular model oh. um, if you buy another version of the, the the legend in particular yes you don't get this feature standard you fit it on as an, an optional extra i dig that now before we go any further i see the gas now mm -hmm. is it just like pop open nope. no 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 so that would you'd open from the inside but i'll nice. show you when we go inside how you open i like that that's safety that's the safety yeah, feature right safety there feature so no one can come and just take your gas no 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 you're not taking my <laughs> gas in this truck <laughs> and then in the rear we've got again led lights in the rear yes and then yeah being a bucky um obviously you've got a tailgate that opens that gives you access to the if you want to call it a bed at the back yep so another thing the car comes with reverse camera nice i like how it's concealed there. it's not i agree uh, yeah it doesn't actually make the car look weird or anything I, like that i agree and it's always necessary man no, I, parking in these streets you need that backup <laughs> you, need it, you need it <laughs> um another thing that's been fitted to this particular model but yep. doesn't come standard on the car is a tow bar okay so yeah you are welcome to definitely fit the car with a tow bar yes another thing that i actually didn't mention when we're at the front of the vehicle mm -hmm. is you can also fit what's called a nudge bar nice I think in america you guys call it a pool bar which is the, yeah, the part that goes in the front. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I got to think of the name. What is the name of it? Um, I forgot the name of it. Okay. But I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but that's we, the bar that you can use. You can hit somebody. Yeah, you can hit somebody moving. with it, but like, <laughs> I'm running <cars. laughs> But, yeah, but your, your bucky will be safe. Yeah, no, it's just the front nash bar. Like, for example, if you're a farmer, yep. maybe one of your cars gets stuck in some mud, uh, you know, you can literally, like, um, crawl up behind the car and then, like, give it a nudge to get it out. Gotcha. That's essentially what that's there for. Okay. So, yeah, like I mentioned, this is an RS model. So the roller shuts are standard. Nice. Another term for it is called the armadillo. Armadillo. Yeah, but I will stick with the roller shutter. It's an electric um, roller shutter. Okay. So you just open and close from here. Yeah. Oh. It opens electronically. 
and then it's fitted with LED lights as well on wow. the inside. So if it happens that you are loading things at night, I can see them. Yeah, you've got the full LED so that you can see whatever it is. Yes, the and car, it's coated. Yeah, and it's coated. So it comes standard. I don't know what you guys call this in the states, but we call it rubberizing. Okay. Um, it comes I like it. It comes standard with this rubberizing to that's protect nice. the, the, the put here in the back. Yeah. So yeah. And I can tell they're using they're using the uh, boot, so that's why we're not gonna do the test. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's plenty of space. Yeah, like truth be told, space. there's plenty of space and opportunity to be able to load things to be Definitely. able to transport things definitely. and to be able to remove things the way a bucky so, is designed yeah. to do no definitely definitely i love that and the fun thing about the bucky about trucks is in america in the states like this is the vehicle that a lot of men get right okay. like it's like a rite of passage to manhood you get a <laughs> truck as we would call it or a bucky okay. as you would call it yeah. and so even looking at the bed we would call it the truck bed okay you can see right yeah. all the opportunities that you're able to do move things haul things help people People move homes and yes, things like that like definitely. you're the person that people call definitely when they need some work done definitely. need some tools to be changed this or is the car for you this yeah. is the vehicle yeah, that definitely. you have and so like in the states like i said it's yeah. a man's rite of passage to have a truck no, men definitely. are proud of their trucks definitely. and so many things are done with trucks so seeing this like it's just it makes me feel at home again <laughs> i'm not gonna get a truck i don't need a truck to prove my manhood <laughs> but <laughs> at the end of the day this, this is, is what we get no for sure for sure yeah, look yeah. i mean it's always nice to have a bucky like you mentioned yourself yep. you know it helps in terms of giving you extra capability out of the car. Yep. Standard vehicles will obviously be able to seat five people in the car, but you nice. don't have the added advantage of this load capacity in the back. Correct. Bed. So definitely that's the perks of getting yourself one of these. All right, great man. So I feel very knowledgeable about the exterior of the vehicle. Yeah. There's go inside, right? No, for sure. All and right. just a quick thing before yep. we actually go inside. Talk to us. When buying a Toyota and fitting um, extras to the car, like yes. things like tow bars, yes. um, just a word of advice. Yes. We would advise that you go for Toyota genuine accessories okay like the one fitted to this car here okay reason being is it preserves the car's resale value nice so if you fit aftermarket sort of um, accessories to the car which some people opt to do yeah um, it does negatively affect the resale value only because you didn't use Toyota genuine parts okay Toyota genuine parts do come with guarantees as well as warranties from Toyota when it so if you go the Toyota genuine route yeah you preserve the overall resale value of the car so that's one thing to just think about when buying yourself a brand new Toyota. I like that. And one other question that I had as well is with this being automatic, is there a way to lock it? It for locks safety for, purposes. It locks so naturally when you lock the car. Yeah. It locks everything. So oh, okay. it won't you won't have access to it if we if can it's demonstrate locked. it where we lock the car up yep. and then we try to open it, nothing will happen. Nice. Yeah. All right. That is a peace of mind. No, okay. For sure, for sure. All right. So now it's interior time, which this interior looks impeccable. Yes. Like I wasn't even expecting this whole leather trim and yes. all of those things yes. to be in a bucky. No, for right. Sure. But I mean it, it does happen in the States as well. However, I'm just always impressed. Okay. So one of the things as you mentioned is the leather yes um it's basically a bucky given a luxury sort of feel to it yes so that when you are inside it you tend to forget that you are actually in a bucky there it is so that's what it's designed to essentially do for the client i like that not and i'm gonna sure. see when i sit in it is not it gonna sure. make me feel like i'm in a bucky or not <laughs> let's see all right let's do the sit test all right oh i do like to have this bar yeah <clears throat> to help you get in i also have one here in front ah so i do like there is the bar that does let you in like i said i mean i feel comfortable no are you in your driving position yes i am in my standard driving position okay and i'm quite comfortable here in the front and yeah. you in the back how's the leg room and the headroom it's good like truth be told it's good i'm a little short of five seven and so you know i feel comfortable in the space that i'm in <laughs> i have plenty of head space i'm not going anywhere unless you get a little bumpy on the ride then i don't know it could get a little crazy but outside of that like no it's it's what it needs to be no, and sure. i feel comfortable so no, it passes sure. the leg room test no for plenty sure space so another thing that you get standard in the car is hooks at the back of the seats i like it these are for let's say you go quick grocery shopping and you've got a plastic or two that you yep. need to carry yeah just hook them at the back there i like you it you need to put two plastics in the point at the back and then they roll over the place yeah no 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 yeah, so you just hang them behind the seat there and then you can travel comfortably with your groceries right here in the back I dig that. Yes. Now that's a, a nice, win. It's a nice convenient feature that they added to the car. True. Yeah. And I did notice there's some hooks back here as well. Yes. Like boom. Two. Yeah, yeah boom. Those are, those are hooks for when you want to actually open up the seats. Ah. You can rest them there. And then if you need to still hook maybe a jacket or something, you can put them up there. I dig it. And then another thing that a little window at the yep. back as well. So I did notice the window. Yeah, so it doesn't feel too claustrophobic in the back. Nice. But then it is a bucky, so 
it's like a box shape at the back mm -hmm. to prevent you know people feeling a bit claustrophobic but that um, you know you can call it a window at the back but it's also for people who get canopies fitted to the bucky okay you know sometimes here in sa we do put people in the back of buckies on yes. long distance trips and they sit in the back okay so that window just allows you to be able to still speak to whoever's in the back i like it yeah. i like it so also in the back seat i see that they have these cup holders right and a nice armrest so you're able to you know what i'm saying do what you need to do with the people that you are gonna do it with it doesn't come with the charger scenarios no. like in the fort the runners or the yeah, you know yeah. cross toyota cross like so yeah. you know keep that in mind but it's all good you have what you need outside of that but let's even go to the front to see what's really going on all right my brother so talk to me about this here front all right so being the legend yep. um we get standard in the car jbl system Woo! so yeah the sound system in this car bangs okay uh, because it is provided by jbl nice but if i take you through the front here We've got ample load space in the front. I mean, yes. We've got a cubby hole up here and yep. another one up here for storage. Yeah. You've got big um, bins on the side for any bottles, if you're carrying a bottle of water, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And to store other things you might need. We've got additional storage here. When it. And then if you look at the front here, these are all your controls for your climate control. Yeah. These are your controls for your four wheel drive system because I like this it. is a four by four. Okay. And then these are additional features for when you are off roading. For okay. For example, to engage the diff lock, to switch off the traction control. It's got a downhill assist control that you can essentially enable so that when you are off roading and going down steep hills, yep. it helps you descend safely. Nice. It's got a 12 volt socket on either side here. Yeah. All right. And then this is your USB, obviously, to yep. allow you to access the Android Auto as well as the Apple CarPlay. I dig it. And then this being the top of the range it's yes. fitted with the feature called toyota safety sense oh so it's basically a bundle of different features that come standard with the car mm -hmm. um one of them is lane departure assist which you see over here okay it's also got collision alert okay and then one of the nice features that come with toyota safety sense is as opposed to having normal cruise control this car has adaptive cruise control oh so i like, like adaptive yeah so what happens is um for those who don't know adaptive cruise control is basically if someone swerves into your lane the car will brake by itself and then mm -hmm. accelerate back to the speed that you selected yes so that's one of the features that come with the car yeah over here you've got your buttons to toggle through the various modes to yep. change tracks as well as adjust volumes and then engage the voice activated control whoop, whoop. you can answer and drop the phone over here <laughs> as well. uh -huh, uh -huh. and then with the button to the side you can control this little menu that pops up here in the middle of the screen yes and then yeah obviously these are your buttons for your light as well as indicators yeah and then on this side here same buttons but for your wiper functions there it is and then yeah fully electric uh -huh. windows front and rear i I dig it. You've got electric seats as well. Yep. And then the car comes standard with leather as we as I explained earlier. Yep. Because of the trim. No, definitely. And Hello. then you've got an eco and then power button down here. I dig it. And I dig it. Sunglass holder as well. Woo so woo. for those of you with your shades, uh oh, feel free to keep them here. There it is. <laughs> In the safety of your vehicle. Now, one thing I do love that you know what I'm saying you didn't say yeah. is this here finish. Oh, like yes, this yes, yes, is sorry. nice. No, you're good. Yeah. It's all like the things that I see that stand out to me okay. that you know you might be used to. No, you, you're sure. here every day yeah. right but outside of this like i love this as well as this like shiny you know material as well but yeah piano black finish that does sound better <laughs> but uh even this here silver trim goes a long way you even have your clock here because it's always necessary to know what time it is sure. plenty of air vents is going to get you cool or warm if necessary Definitely. and uh this is a cool feature too that talks about your, your seat belts, seat belts yeah, and so belts. that's always great man and that's great you've also got the leather uh, um, fitted to the steering wheel as well yeah because like i said this is the range top at the end of the day there it it's is just unfortunate because of the lighting i can't show it to you now but we do have ambient lighting Ooh. as well in this car um some blue ambient lighting that lights up um, i like you get it. to see it when it's a bit more dim yeah um yeah right now it won't be easy to show you that yeah but yeah that's essentially what you get in the car and last but not least one of the features that comes with the yes. window here yes. is what's that yes so this is um it's basically an automatic rear view mirror yes how it works is if you're driving at night and you've got drivers behind you that are basically dazzling you with i don't know if dazzling is the correct word but um they basically blinding find, you yeah they're blinding you with bright lights yeah this has the ability to essentially turn that light out by actually Woo. dimming the mirror itself Woo. so that it doesn't shine directly into your eyes when you come on the yeah. come on that's a feature <laughs> right there no, safety that's a, first that's a very nice feature very hello nice feature. and so in all of the various things that you did say i definitely feel like i have a in 
full in-depth view and understanding what's happening in this uh, interior of the car as well as the exterior of the car. Yes. However, it's always great to get the drive, right? Yes. And with it being a manual, you will be doing the drive because <laughs> I have yet to learn how to drive a manual just now. Oh, but the day will come. And until then, um, yeah, man, let's get this drive in. Nah, let's go in. Let's, let's go get in. it, y'all. All right, so out on the road we go. You know what I'm saying? So anything about the drive the truck that you think needs to be said so definitely for the manual guys people who enjoy manuals yeah this is a nice um, gearbox to play around with okay but i know most people who buy this car usually go for the automatic spec Copy. it's just unfortunate that i wasn't able to arrange one for today it's all good but um if you are looking for the manual one it's definitely engaging in the okay. sense that like the gearbox is not trash Okay. So, you know, when you're off flicking through the gears, it's a nice experience. Gotcha. Um, clutch is very soft. Nice. Um, I don't feel like I'm putting in a heavy leg day okay. to drive the car. But Brakes some vehicles, it does yeah, some, feel like some, that. Yeah, some vehicles, it does oh, feel okay. like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the way they configure the clutches on some cars. Nah, I love it. I, I dig it. And, another, and it does have a nice get up and go. No, definitely. And another nice advantage of it is the ground clearance. So, uh, if I can demonstrate it, I'll find like a nice heel for us to do it on. But now, I want to push the car, but like these guys are driving slow. Oh, yeah. But I mean, this ride is smooth. I mean, no, it is it. very smooth. Yeah, you can feel it. But that's the benefit of being in a bucky or yes. a truck, as yes. we would say. You definitely do get that ability to be over everything. No, definitely. And hit a bump and keep on ticking. Definitely. And what I like is, I won't lie, the presence of this car. Yes. Like, I do feel like I'm one of the big guys on the okay. road. Okay. And that, see, that's why men get the truck. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why. It, it helps to compensate sometimes. <laughs> if necessary, but at the same time, it is a workhorse. Yeah, right? no, definitely. definitely. You, you, can, you can definitely be of aid to people. And you know the advantage of buying the single cab as well as the extra cab version of this car okay. is you get tax, you can claim tax from the government. Oh. Because uh, most people, most pe the government actually understands that those are workhorses. Yes. And most people, so like for example, this one, this yes. is a single cab Hilux, it's not a raised body. Right. That's why it's much lower to the ground than okay. this one. Okay. But you can claim tax back from the government if you, if you use that car for work okay so your fuel and stuff this particular one you can't because the double cap yes they just assume that you're using it as a passenger vehicle right but you see we oh just, yeah uh, oh snap <laughs> this thing can get up <laughs> and i don't know and it was it. smooth too yeah and i don't have it in power mode oh, oh snap <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I was not expecting this. No, nah, it's not a slow car. No, 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 no. Especially because um, the manual version has. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm speaking under correction. I think it has 450. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. But if you go for the automatic one, that one has 500 Newton meters. Wow. But they both have 150 kilowatts. Um, okay. I don't know how much that is in horsepower. Um, That's okay. But That's if you okay. times, I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, I think if you times that 150 by 1.34, then you'll know gotcha. how much horsepower the car is delivering. Okay. And so even with this, I definitely can tell it's not noisy. No, right? no, no, no. You don't really hear the noise no. from the outside. No, no, You're no. definitely secured and, you know. Because at the end of the day, much as it's a Baki, Toyota positioned it to kind of give you a luxury sort of experience. Yes. So you do all the Baki. The work that comes with having a Baki, yeah. but when you're in the actual cabin of the car, you, you forget that you're in a Baki. No, it's not very true. Yeah, but I'll be honest with you. Um, so Toyota uses um, ladder frame suspension in the okay. sense, oh, no, ladder frame chassis, sorry. Okay. So how that works is it's literally a chassis yeah. and then they put a body on top. Ah. So sometimes I won't lie, you do feel it when you're on a bumpy road, you can feel that the body is not directly connected to the actual chassis itself. Okay. But, if you don't notice those nuances when driving a car, yeah. I don't think it will be an issue. Okay. Because I get to drive a lot of these cars, I can feel that difference. Oh, okay. yeah, I can feel it. Okay. No, I dig that. But it's a nice feel. Like, if getting a truck is something that you are bucky, yeah. is what you want. Like, this is a nice one. But you did say there are multiple different yeah, Toyota multiple buckies types, yeah. that multiple. you can get. So, would you say, like, this is the mid-level as far as, like, size-wise? Nah, this is the big one. This is this the, is big, the one. big one. This oh, okay. One. This one, um, I just what about bought... the Land Cruiser, though? The... 
uh, when you talk about the Bucky's. Right. Um, the Land Cruiser is not as luxurious. That's the okay. thing. Yeah, the Land Cruiser is very, it's very basic. If, okay. if I'm being honest with you on the okay. inside, the reason why it, 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 it sits at that price point is because of its off-road capabilities. Okay. That Bucky can just do things that this car can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So people, when they buy that car, they buy it knowing what it can do. Yes. Um, in terms off-road. of its off-road capability. Okay. Yeah. But this one, you buy it because it's, it gives you off-road capabilities. Yes. yes. But it doesn't give it to you at the level of the Land Cruiser 79. Okay. But okay. it gives you a lot more luxury, um, you know, feel than you get out of the other bucket. Copy. Yeah, yeah, but we will do a review definitely on that one. I dig it. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is good. Y'all let us know yeah. what car we should review next. Put it in the comment section below, <laughs> and we're going to add it to the list. The list is growing. We see what you have yeah. said. <laughs> and so know that the list is growing with those things. However, fun times, good times ahead as always. And yeah, and keep the comments coming. I won't lie. Um, it, it, it's very encouraging to see your guys' comments. I think it's one of the reasons why, you know, we wake up and do these videos for it you guys. Is. It's very much encouraging. And I'm going to be honest right now and say it's my first time, like, you know, tackle this type of thing where, uh -huh. you know, I'm putting out content like this, especially as, like, on a consistent basis. Yeah. So I definitely appreciate the support coming from the guys watching the video. Let's Please go. keep watching. Yes, Please keep go. liking. Please comment. Mm. Please subscribe. And oh. tell a friend to tell a friend. There it is. You know he said it best. <laughs> Get his man 250 <laughs> likes. Give Tato 250 <laughs> likes and tell him, keep going, brother. Keep going. Now we even as well, <clears throat> excuse me, in respects of comments, saw somebody say about the podcast. Yes. And so, you know, we're going to have to see no, what my brother going to do. Definitely. And if anything, um, because I see that there's genuine interest out there for podcasts where we discuss things like this, I'd like you guys to actually just give us an indication as to what you'd like to see and hear from the podcast. Oh. So at least if we do tackle that challenge you know we're giving you guys what you want oh. so feel free to let us know what you want us to cover in the, the podcast so that we make sure that we run through those topics for you let's but i appreciate know. the love and support i'll yes. keep doing this for you guys and you know let's get to that 100k let's get it let's get, let's it. get it boy i love this ride this is a smooth ride this is a smooth ride now indeed. i'm enjoying it too I'm hello it too. all right great people so this was a fun 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 one to do a review on yeah. after driving through it after seeing the interior after seeing the exterior i would rate this vehicle out of 10 as a 8.3 that's fair I give it an 8.3. Why? <laughs> because it has the carrying capabilities. It has the transporting, the help aid that a truck and or a bucky will give you. But then it also has the power, definitely. right? I was definitely surprised with the power that it delivered and you were able to drive it from, but then also it has a smooth cabin. Definitely. It was quiet as far as the drive. Um, and I was just excited and ecstatic about being in it, sitting up high. Definitely. I definitely love sitting up high. Definitely. And so all of that to say, I, that's, that's the rating, that's no, the that's rating. Fair. Anything that's you would say pertaining to the vehicle? For any client looking for a cross between something functional but luxurious at the same time with a bit of power but efficiency at the same time, nice. I definitely advise you to consider the um, Legend RS particularly the manual because it's a fun experience there in my is. opinion. There it is. Um, but like yeah. you said, it's a, it's a driver's way to drive the Definitely. car. If you're a Definitely. driver, manual is what you want to do, which me not knowing how to drive a manual, I wouldn't know how to experience <laughs> such a thing as that. However, I love that. No, for sure. So yeah, definitely that's one to consider. And then another thing before closing off, I'd like to send a big shout out to Mauro's Toyota for whoop, whoop. giving us another car to review for you guys. We'll definitely have more in store for you. But if you can, kindly let us know in the comments below what video or car you'd rather like to see in the next video. And yeah, we'll definitely make it happen for you guys. Boom! And just like that, great people, another review was in the books. <laughs> the Toyota Hilux is what we had the opportunity to do an exterior, interior, as well as a drive around with. And I'm excited to Melrose for giving us the opportunity, as my brother Tato said. Shouts out to him Thank and you. all that he is doing. If you're looking for a Toyota, Melrose Toyota is where you want to go, it's where you want to be. And when you do, see this man right here. Yes, man. Tato, yes, who is always ready because he was off born ready you huh! know what time it is just like that so when you walk through the door ask for my brother and he'll get you taken care of for sure no for and sure to the next one great people we love you all we appreciate you all take Peace. care i won't lie um i know this car comes in auto yeah i would get it in manually really 
because of the. I feel like it's engaging. I enjoy it, in and manual. that's why the dude said. That's why he has this. Yeah, one. no, I enjoy the manual okay. one. Um, look, I just like manual. I'm uh, genuinely a driver guy. I like to drive. Yes. So I prefer manuals because I feel like I'm driving. I yes. actually feel like I'm driving. When you're in an automatic, I feel like, man, it's like a golf cart. It's like okay. a glorified golf cart. Okay. Yeah, I want to be part of the driving experience. Gotcha. Yeah.